It is solution time for yesterday's video. Sir, we can't see you. Did you manage to get the solution for yesterday's question? Did you manage to find the pattern? If you don't, let me help you out. Have a look at this question. m power 5 times square root n power 3 is equals 1 to 8 and m times square root n is equals to 2. So what pattern I can see here? Well, I can see m times m times m times m times m. This is actually m power 5. Now, square root n power 3, which is square root n times square root n times square root n. This is square root n power 3. By the way, the answer is 1, 2, 8, right? So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to rearrange. I'm going to rearrange this thing. I'm going to write this m, this square root n side by side. I'm going to write m times square root n. And then I'm going to times this m times with this square root n. And I'm going to times this m with this square root n. And I'm going to left with m and m times m. The answer will be 1, 2, 8. So what do we do now? Why do I arrange like this? Because I know a pattern. What pattern do I know? Did you notice here? m times square root n, the answer is 2. When m times square root n, the answer is 2. These two should give me the answer 2. Now I'm going to multiply with these two, giving me the answer 2. With these two, giving me the answer 2. And m times m gonna be m square, which is 1 to 8. So when I solve this, what do I get? I'm gonna get 8m square is 1 to 8, where m square is 16, and your value of m will be 4. Once you get the value of m is 4, next all we need to do is find the value of n by using this given information. m times square root n, the answer is 2. I know the value of m is 4, so I'm gonna put here 4 times square root n is 2 where square root n will be equals to 1 over 2 4 times bring there become divide 1 over 2 and the value of n will be square root bring there will become 1 over 2 square when you square this you're gonna get the answer 1 over 4 for your n all right i gotta go see you all in the next video